I was scrolling through YouTube when I stumbled upon a video by Hellsana about a forest generator for Tailspire. It piqued my interest, so I dived in and did some more research and I found a second generator that we can use for Tailspire. In testing out the generators, now I'm able to tell you more about them and how to use them for your game. Welcome to Dungeon Master for Hire, my name is Professor Pui and I will be your Dungeon Master for this video. In this video, I will talk about two generators I found recently, the first one being about a forest generator, and the second a dungeon generator. Starting with the forest generator, it can be accessed through the URL here in the screen, or in the link I will be leaving down below. It's really simple to use. You can select a preset on the page and adjust the width and depth of your slab. Then you just hit the generate random forest. From there, select copy to clipboard. From there, you paste directly to Tailspire and voila! A generated forest is at your disposal. You can modify the sliders below for much more random generation and even add some assets in order to create a much more random generation. You can also add your own slab combinations. First, you make your three-year nature object, select it, and copy. Second, head over to the generator and hit Read Pasted Slab. And finally, hit Save Custom Slab. Give it a name and done! You have saved a custom slab and it now can be added to the list of random assets. As you can see, this generator gives you a ton of options giving you a much healthy need for random generation. It saves time and effort, and I recommend all DMs and GMs playing with Telspire to give it a try. And now we will go over the second generator, the Import Dungeon. The page is simpler than the previous generator, and don't let it fool you. It can do the task if you feed it what it wants. And that's a JSON file that you get from another generator. Yes, we use this webpage, the One Page Dungeon, created by Watabo, uh, to generate a one page dungeon, as the name states. It can make a ton of different combinations of rooms and access, and cool note ideas that you can take for your games. Uh, his site also has other generators, like the Village Generator and the City Generator. But we will use the one page dungeon as it's the one we can save a JSON file from. So once you are happy with the generated dungeon, you can download the JSON file and upload it to your import dungeon page. Then convert it and BAM! You have a dungeon for Tailspire. It will use the dungeon tiles and there's no way of changing which tiles it uses. But it's better than nothing, right? And so you can use these generators as building blocks. Uh, for your tables and make changes as needed. You might want to add some campsites or make a road in between the forest. Just make the changes needed to reflect a much more controlled appeal. But since nature and dungeons sometimes don't really have a structured mindset, it's good to have some randomness in there. Generators help a ton. And these won't be the only generators out there. And I can't wait to find and experiment with others. And that is all for today, guys. I hope you find this video very informative. And if you like what you see here and would like to see more, consider hitting that subscribe button so we can keep making some more Tailspire videos and Tailspire news. Until then, class is dismissed.